Welcome to another edition of The Naked Truth. My name is Ramon Roan. My name is John Singletary. And today's video is entitled, The Eric Gardner Deja Vu. It's Rodney King all over again. Thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, we appreciate your comments. We appreciate uh, when you do subscribe. You're helping us as we um, grow and as we look to accomplish our mission and that is make effective change to our justice system. Um, we all know that the case John um, involving Eric Gardner and my mind when I was looking at that video I, I, I my mind immediately ran to Rodney King because we, you know when we're looking at Rodney King we're saying man you there's not a soul <laughs> in this country, that when they looked at that Rodney King video, they said, those cops going to jail. You would assume that. I mean, it's just, when you take a look at it, you know there's just a flagrant disregard right. for African-American life. Yeah, sure enough. In America. Yeah, I mean, because Rodney King, I mean, it was probably about the same number of cops, and they were beating it with billy clubs. Yeah. And you know, um, uh, if you're Even being, at the point that he'd given up and was simply trying to protect himself. <laughs> he was on his knees, hands yeah. and knees. I'm like, what was he doing? And so, Eric Gardner, in that, in that situation there, he's being choked. And if you look at the video, that cop, he immediately went for the chokehold. He immediately went to the choke block. One cop was in Santa Fe, the other cop comes around and puts him in the choke hole. That was his primary intention. That's all That's all he was trying to do. That's all he's trying to do, right. And then when you look at this, John, I was thinking about this is that um, we all know the MMA, you know where they do the, they call it, they, they got the phrase called tap out. Tap out, right. Now you did, you did wrestling. Did y'all do tap out back in those days? No, we don't do tap out. What did you do, John? <laughs> <laughs> you, you break a nose, you break a leg, break a leg. <laughs> all right. So this man went, went on the MMA, um, those uh, mixed martial arts um, re, um, competition, they'll tap out, you know, tap, let me go. Well, Eric Gardner tapped out 11 times, 11 times, 11 times a tap out. Yeah. So he has a, and when they said, I'm upset because I understand security, because I did nuclear weapon security while I was in the military. And, uh, and so I understand deadly force. When they're saying that, when they're saying that you, well this is, they didn't call that deadly force. When you take somebody by the neck, mm -hmm. that's immediately deadly force. It is. It's immediately deadly force. Of course it is. You can't, you can't get around saying that, well, you know, look, once he said, I can't breathe, you should come to your mind, well, I need to do something so that he can breathe. Right. Even if you maintain control, right. at least allow him to breathe. Allow him to breathe. Right. Eleven times. What if he thought he was joking? I mean, it ain't wasn't like he was going to outrun him. He's on the ground. You know, he's, he's four, four or five police officers that have their hands on him. He, they had complete control. They had complete control. Yeah. So why not let the man breathe? And for the district attorney, not to pursue, I mean, vigorous pursue a charge against the police officers. I don't understand, John. I don't. I mean, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. And what, what's there to understand? It's clear. They have, there's no value for African American life, particularly when it comes to young black men in America. And that, and that we need to change. Okay. Yeah. That has to be addressed. Yeah. I mean, look, John, I, I, and I'm not trying to plug my book. But in the book called um, Handicap Born Black in America, that's what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. It doesn't surprise me that happened. It doesn't surprise me that they're treating a, a human being that way because I know, I understand the history in this country. The crime is that you young black and you're in America. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> sure enough. You know? That's the crime. So when they're looking at it, and I cannot, we know that the, uh, many of the country was upset about the non-indictment of Eric Wilson. Uh, what was it, not Eric Wilson, but of um, Darren Wilson, Darren in, Wilson. In, um, in, in Ferguson. Now, that 
I'm not going to dispute. I, I'm not me. I'm not going to dispute that. I know that some people say, hey, you know, I'm not going to dispute that. But Eric Gardner is a totally different situation. We got videotape. Yeah, videotape of the man asking, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. What must, what else? He, he couldn't do anything else. In both cases, I think it should have gone to the jury. I understand. Let the jury decide. I understand. I understand. But you're right. When a man can't breathe and he says, listen, you know, let me go. I can't breathe. Even, and particularly when I'm in control of him, then at that point, you need to let it go. Mm -hmm. Rules of engagement doesn't allow, at this point, you to just willfully shoot your enemy. Right. Right. So here it is in America with a, an American citizen. Mm -hmm. happens to be African American, mm -hmm. you have the potential of treating them worse than you do an enemy who is threatening the, uh, the sanctity and the protections of the United States. You know, and this is another... Because you can shoot to kill. <laughs> They, they don't have to shoot first. The police officers in the United States who are supposed to protect and serve, their rules of engagement are beneficial to the police. Mm -hmm. The military don't, don't even have the same kind of rules of engagement. They don't. That's why we got more, um, uh, we have more deaths under the, uh, uh, or, you know, killings, rather, I guess, deaths with the military because their rules of engagement handcuffs them. I'm serious, the handcuffs. Look, in Well that's so, what I'm saying. As an American citizen, you have less rights. <laughs> you do. Than you do an enemy. Yeah, you should do luck Particularly here. Particularly if you're African American. In Somalia, in in Somalia, I think in the nineties, in Somalia, those guys in Black Hawk Down, they could not shoot unless they're getting shot at. Right. <laughs> you know, that's their rules of engagement. Okay. <laughs> so that wait a minute. I'm like, you know, the movie was pretty much you saw the if most of you haven't seen the movie, watch it. But they had to be they it had to be known. You couldn't you couldn't just shoot somebody just even if they're carrying a weapon. They have to actually be shooting at you. What if they don't miss? <laughs> but right. here don't. in the United States, they don't need to. You don't have to be right. shot at. You just have to be black. Oh my goodness now. Watch out, man. You see it. Watch out. <laughs> well, the truth is the truth. Yeah, yeah truth is the truth. truth you know, the truth. And we got, look at the evidence. Look at the evidence. And so, um, I think that, I think that, that's just a miscarriage of justice, John. That oh. Eric Gardner case is a miscarriage of justice. And I think that this is one time there where they need us, look here. I don't care what the grand jury said, they got it wrong. They have well, them. actually, what they can do is, you know, they can move to the federal court because you can go to the federal court on the same issue as they did on the state and it not be double jeopardy or it not be attached because uh, double jeopardy depends on the sovereignty of that group. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's the state. It would be different if uh, in the federal government. So they can actually uh, do the very same charge against them mm -hmm. in the federal court mm -hmm. and not have to worry about double jeopardy. Okay. Similar to what happened in the Rodney King case. But were they, they but but they, they, they it was a civil case on Rodney King. They didn't punish those guys um criminally. They wasn't they, they didn't they were they got scot free. On the state. In the federal case they in got the scot free. In the federal case they didn't, yeah, they didn't do, I yeah. thought in the federal case that they actually were indicted. No, I don't think so. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I, well, well, we'll do some more research. Yeah, we'll do some on research on that. I um, could be wrong, yeah. but I don't think they got any. I know Rodney King got paid, but yeah, 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 he got paid. He got paid, but yeah, got paid. Um, but I don't know if the um, police officer. But but even at that, the state, how in the world is the state going to find them innocent, not guilty, even in California? Well, the state did. And you know, this but is that's why you have the protections of the federal court. When right. the state doesn't do what they're supposed to do. Right. That's why you can appeal cases to the federal court. Well, the heck, like, we still, <laughs> we're still waiting on the federal court to do something with the Trayvon Martin case. Sure. That ain't justice. <laughs> it's slow justice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's slow justice. Yeah, well. Uh -huh. Could you imagine in South Carolina if you had no right to appeal? to the federal court, what happens in the state after you run it up through the state, uh -huh. then you can actually switch over into the federal court. And in fact, the law allows you, if 
you're in the state court, if your efforts are futile, you don't have to actually exhaust all remedies all the way up to the state Supreme Court. You can literally jump directly over into the federal court once you, your, your efforts are futile, and that's because of the 1983 action which was originally named the Ku Klux Klan Act. Mm -hmm. That if you um, can't get fair justice in the state court, then the federal government is supposed to act as your guardian and protect you under the Ku Klux Klan Act. Yeah, but justice needs to be rapid because Eric Gardner, um, and if we want to get justice for him, um, it needs to be rapid. It doesn't need to be lingering in the court system. The Trayvon Martin, the Trayvon Martin case that's been lingering and such. The only case that's actually been done, uh, and it took a while to get done, it was at the Dun the Dunn case where they killed the um, young boy Jordan Davis. Um, but we got our justice system is is is. Um, well, we know it's messed up. That's why uh, that's, it's messed up like a football bat. That's why we need to get. <laughs> that's why we have to a get a soup sandwich involved. Right. That's why that's we why have, have to get, get involved. Yeah, and that's why you that, don't. Right. It gets even worse. Exactly. Look at what happened with the case here. Um, not to take anything away from um, speedy justice, but when the young man here in South Carolina who was at the Academic Magnet, was killed over in, uh, I guess it was the Ardmore subdivision. Mm -hmm. Immediately, mm -hmm. I mean, it was no time before they had, uh, you might as well say, a posse and a witch hunt. They literally found the, uh, the young guy who was in high school who, mm -hmm. who got killed. Right. Um, he happened to be white. Justice was swift. Yeah, well, justice goes sweet. In this case, in many other cases, they're gonna literally die on the vine. They'll stretch it out to if what is it gonna up do? to them to everybody's dead. What's gonna back. happen? What's gonna happen? Yeah, they'll stretch it out. They'll yeah. stretch it out long enough to where the the attention and people forget about it, and um, and and the, and the family. Yeah, their family will get um, the monetary compensated. And by the way, um, I was talking to a guy today at the gym, and I was telling him that um, the Blagio. He's going to get them. Their comp they're going to be compensated. You can, of course, they would rather have their father back, sure. but they're going to be compensated. And that seventy-five million bills that shows what he did with the um, uh, with the case with about the, the the rape in Central Park. Those boys that spent all that time in prison until he came in office. The Blasio came in office. He settled that case. Mm -hmm. The is going to take care of these. Um, it's going to take care of the family, but. The fact is, is that they're not gonna. It's gonna be hard to get that justice that they that they deserve. We should stop the senseless killing. We should, and then there'd be no need for that kind of compensation exactly. because you know they call it compensation, but you can't compensate. You can't come back with lots of father. father. Yeah, father, five kids and grandkids and, and included. Sure. You can't compensate. And I feel that. because but, actually today is the day one year anniversary for my father. Died. Right. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah. And look at this, John. This man was out there. What was he doing? He was selling loose cigarettes. Why was he selling? He wasn't selling loose marijuana. <laughs> he was selling loose cigarettes to feed his family. Yeah. The taxes on cigarettes in New York is like on nearly six dollars per, per pack. Now, the reason why they don't want to arrest him, I know we got a close here, but the reason why they don't want to arrest him because he is by, he's he's not paying taxes. Well, hell, why don't they arrest? Al Sharpton. Al Sharpton owes over four million dollars in taxes. There's a lot of people that owe a lot of money in taxes. <laughs> yeah, but and I, they don't go in and they don't arrest them. Yeah, but technically, well, Al Sharpton need to be arrested. It, certainly, it, put Al Sharpton it, it, in chokehold. No, no, <laughs> no. Nope. Don't put Al in chokehold. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Why concentrate on black? There's a lot of whites out there who don't pay taxes. Yeah, I there know. Are corporations who don't pay taxes. Man, this man is. Not, so, what was he hurting? Some? What What was the problem if he just went out and just gave cigarettes away? Would it have been a crime then? At any rate, it doesn't warrant being killed. Hey, I'm sure it doesn't. If you don't pay your taxes, we can come in and choke you to death. You can come choke you to death. All right, John. Man, you I mean, they're choking us already. They are. That's that's for sure. <laughs> that, that justice system is choking us already. You can close this out, John. Well, um, we'd like for you to continually uh, watch the channel, to subscribe. Uh, it helps with uh, continually bringing you uh, information like we've done in the past. And uh, we want you to get involved. Uh, certainly the Eric Carney case is not over by a long shot. It's just getting started. And we need 
every American, not just blacks, no. blacks and whites, You're to right. stand up and say, hey, listen, um, it's not only not acceptable, but we're not going to allow it to die down. Nope. The senseless killing needs to stop. Americans need to be protected. If we don't protect Americans at home and foreigners see that, then certainly why would those protections, would they look at protecting us when we're in another country? It's not going to happen. Um, this has been another edition of, of The Naked, Naked Truth.